right, what is up, what's good, Wolf's here with another Let's Talk video, and uh, we're going to be doing uh, a little bit more Cyberpunk coverage. Uh, I feel like I've covered a lot of this game, and it hasn't even come out yet. I mean, it's been delayed and everything else, but uh, some very good news, and I know there's going to be a lot of content creators out there going, well, I can't get my early footage out there and everything, but um, this is great news for anybody who's got a smaller channel, you know, somebody like me. Um, who actually wants to be able to get a fresh take on the game also, you know, for everybody that's kind of against spoilers and everything. Um, hopefully this last month has given CDPR a chance to really flush out everything and add new features into the game that were not announced before and all that. Uh, but the big news is that there is basically like an NDA, you know, being put out on this game for anybody who is getting early copies of the game you cannot stream or make any video content on your channel uh you can't put it out there anyways um until the game is basically out so december 9th at 3 a.m pacific time which would be three four five six about six o'clock east coast time um so the statement reads as followed your cyberpunk 2077 videos and streams before release uh we're getting closer and closer to the launch and chances are some of you will get your hands on a copy of cyberpunk 2077 before release day so all of the big name streamers out there and you know content creators that know somebody inside the pr team or that gets to you know whoever sends out the early early access um codes uh, i'm pretty sure it's pr team um, public relations. Uh, so yeah, there's a lot of people that usually get early access codes and it's like a week before the game comes out. We see half of the game. Actually, a lot of times you start seeing spoilers flying around and everything. And this game is, is so, it's so big on the hype levels and everything that I, I'm, I am hats off to, you know, CDPR for doing this. So then everybody can have that mystery and, you know, the, you know, just the story intact. So your first playthrough is your first playthrough, not somebody else's that you get this reference retrospect on the game before you actually dive in and all that. I hate that nowadays. That's one of the, those one of those big pet peeves I got of all this early access stuff. Um, unless it's like an EA accessing where like or or an early demo for like Resident Evil remaster or remakes. Um, they had the early demo out to where everybody can, you know, if you have an internet connection and you have your subscription and all that stuff, you know, there is ways of getting in on like betas and demos and such. Um, but early access to where only select handfuls of people actually get access to those games. And I'm not, I'm, I'm also not talking about like PS5 being sold out. So only, you know, only the early access people that's a whole different situation um that is just like it's it's just a crazy market thing of like scalpers and such which you know all the nobody was supposed to, nobody's really was supposed to have early access to that console we're kind of like in early access for the next gen stuff but anyways it's kind of a separate conversation although it does tie back into this um i'll, I'll talk about it a little bit more uh, in a second but um so you know, we're not going to be seeing a ton of like early access or we're, we're not supposed to be seeing any early access other than what CDPR is putting out themselves. And I feel like they've done so much behind the scenes and everything. So if, if there's anybody out there that's like, you know, they're, they're saying, hey, how am I supposed to know if if Cyberpunk 2077 actually lives up to the hype and everything? Go and check out all the behind the scenes stuff. You literally are seeing just as much of the game from the behind the scenes stuff and everything and all these gameplay videos as you would if you're watching somebody live streaming it. That's my feeling on it right now is that we have seen so much of this that we've almost overly seen everything um, because there's been so many behind the scenes, so many trailers, the, you know, and then getting pushed back like two or three times over again. I mean, hell, we've been seeing this game in development since, you know, what was it, 2014, I think, was, was like the first time, so... Um, and I, I will definitely be streaming this game, you know, midnight at, at minute one when it is, is launched and released. I can't wait. I'm, I'm very hyped up for cyberpunk. Uh, but yeah, I don't, the less I have to do of like media blackout, I feel is just like better. It just, it just takes a weight off your shoulders of like, I don't want to see any spoilers of all the storyline stuff. Cause this is a single player story driven game. 
Okay, there there might be a multiplayer component coming later on, but for the core aspect of this, it's a single player story driven game. And I've said this in videos, I've said it on my stream, on Twitch, and everything that, in my opinion, as soon as you see the the major plot points in any story driven game, it's done. You know, as soon as you finish a story driven game, um, it's done. You know, you've seen you've seen like the big grand hurrah moments and everything. If something gets spoiled on social media or on a YouTube thumbnail or something, um, which is the reason why anytime I do um, like like hype movies for my streams and everything, I only use trailer footage because it's the same trailer footage that you've already seen everywhere else. Unless you avoid watching trailers and everything, um, that's something that I totally can understand also. But uh, yeah, I mean, you know, once you've seen it, it's done. So not letting people put out video content and everything until literally everybody else gets their hands on the game is a great move that I really, really I can't stress this enough. I hope other publishers and developers really push this um, as like an industry standard. Don't let all these early, weak, early access to, okay, we, we have a full playthrough a week before the game comes out. Don't let people, you know, take all of the, the fun of sharing the enjoyment of the mysteries and the plot twists and, and the cool moments and everything away from, you know, because you're, technically you're taking it away from like smaller creators um, and streamers and, and all that. Uh, any, anybody who's like tr just trying to grab a PS4 Pro or an X, uh, yeah, an Xbox One X or whatever, the, you know, wherever you're playing it from, and they're just trying to start up their live streaming thing of you know just figuring everything out it's like well why should they why should anybody go and watch a smaller person that is just starting out why should they go and watch that person when there's somebody with 50,000 people that have already watched it three days prior so to me this is like a great great standard that cdpr could be absolutely set in, in the industry um so here's here's the the, the second part to all this um so this is why we kindly ask you not to stream Let's Play or release any similar content before December 9th. We will send Max Tech, you know, the guys who take down videos after everyone who does um, after that date. However, we, you know, we would love if you'd streamed everything like there's no tomorrow. It's 2020. Who knows? Maybe there there isn't. Um, he he ha ha. But I do love that they're going to be taking down videos. Uh, I, I am 100% for this. I have been actually stressing this on, like I said before in the past, that we should have this. Um, so anyways, that's definitely my my stance on it is good good for CDPR. Um, just absolutely let us all experience the game. I mean, this should just be a thing in the gaming industry of like, don't, don't let the game be ruined and spoiled a week before it comes out. Um, there was literally some, I mean... Okay, The Last of Us Part Two is very controversial, and I know what whichever side of the fence you're on, whether it's the most terrible game or the most magnificent, mind blowing game. Um, there was a lot of leak and rumor stuff going around prior to the game coming out, and there was this basically this just whole thing of of people. They got onto this kick of just being like, well. I don't need to check out the game because I've already seen the leaked, you know, story and I've seen, I've already watched the playthrough on YouTube. It was, it was literally like three or four days before the game came out on another, uh, game. Also don't make cry five. Um, the, the ending got leaked like a week before the game came out and it was po posted all over Instagram and Capcom just let it happen. So I'm not just saying it off from like certain, you know, oh, I'm trying to defend one thing or the other. I love Capcom. I love what they're doing, you know, recently with with all their their major story driven games too. Don't make Cry Five. Once you see the ending on it, it's done. You know, just like any other, just like any other game. Um, Resident Evil. I am so, I who man, I don't want Resident Evil Eight spoiled on the same level that I don't want Cyberpunk 2077 spoiled and. Um, yeah, this is just like, I, I just hope this becomes, you know, like a thing in the industry. Like I said, we've seen so much in these trailers. My God, if you don't know whether or not you're going to like this game, I mean, come on. It's just like, check this stuff out. Uh, so let's, uh, let's check out this 
photo mode trailer. I, I don't use photo mode a lot. I use it every once in a while. You can actually do if you're if you can get the skills with the controller and everything of like moving the camera angles and all that stuff. Um, I don't, do, does PC have a photo mode? I mean, it, it would have to, right? Um, but doing machinima inside the game, you know, in, in different ways and whatnot, or making like a music video where it's just like, like 3d photos of the camera rotating around, you know, the characters and everything. That, that'd be so cool. That'd be so awesome to see that. So I'm definitely, I'm, I'm for photo modes. I don't use them too much, but anyway, let's, uh, let's get into this. So photo mode trailer. Okay, so it's 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 pretty standard photo mode. Um, I was just playing around with the Spider-Man Miles Morales photo mode there last night on stream, um, and I also checked out like Ghost of Tsushima's photo mode too. It was it's cool. It's cool what you what you can do with this, doing different facial expressions and putting like the effects on the camera and everything that you're seeing right there. An explosion happens, pause the game, you know, and then just, whoa, there's fire everywhere and all that stuff. That's awesome. Talking about explosions. Oh, praise the fire bomb. And then just put yellow all in the backgrounds. You know, why not? Yeah, the stickers. Yeah. This is my bike. Uh. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Oh, man. You can get like the... That just reminds me of Max Payne right there. It's awesome that I can make a Max Payne photo. With the sunset now. Huh? It's funny that they're not doing any machinima of like a fly through. If I was the trailer creators on this, uh, I would go into a shootout and I would sit there and be like, okay, so bullets are flying through. Wait until like you're both shooting at each other. And like maybe if something blows up behind and you're both shooting at each other, pause the game right there with the bullets in the air and everything and then just fly the camera through all the action with all the particles in the air with all the bullets flying everywhere and everything you could totally do it in photo mode um and just like as you as you're just checking out the destruction and the mayhem going on man or or like you're getting chased by the police or whatever and you you know you hit the bridge and you do that classic moment of like car police cars in the air <laughs> and you're just flying the camera around like that's that's something that i would do in a trailer i don't know that's just what i would do but anyways um yeah yeah cool cool um again this game is coming out on everything which is the reason why it got pushed back um also uh, plays great also on series xs and you notice they don't want to say sx um, and PS5. So I'm wondering what the next gen is really like. How much haptic feedback and trigger control are we going to have on the PS5? Um, I definitely have been feeling it in Miles Morales when I was playing that last night on stream. Um, again, twitch.tv backslash werewolf. I'm just trying to plug my stream real quick. But uh, I don't stream on a normal set schedule either. I'd stream whenever I kind of feel like it. Uh, but the PC version, I'm really wondering what's going to be the selling point to getting the, getting the PC version. I don't know why in the hell you would play it on Stadia. Um, but uh, but the, the next-gen features, I'm really curious to see what the next-gen features are going to be like. Is the PC version going to have... I don't think it's going to have DLSS built into it, but that'd be really nice if it did with AI learning tech in it and all that. Um, that's like technical guru stuff, but yeah, man, this game is going to hit differently. I'm, I'm, I, I feel it. I feel it. It's all yellow and blue and stuff, but I feel it. It's going to be good. So, um, yeah, again, just, uh, I just want to go into the cyberpunk 2077 universe 
almost flying blind. I kind of almost want to check out like a, a behind the scenes story thing of like who is V and, and what's all these characters and all that. But um, at the same time, I kind of just want to go in flying absolutely blindfolded, not know what the hell I'm stepping into. I just want to see this whole universe and be blown away by every aspect of it. And just if it can do it, if it can draw me in and just keep me there and just make me laugh and cry and and, and feel emotions that I never felt before, then yes, it has done its job. Um, if anything gets spoiled, that takes away the mystery of the whole universe, you know, that they're creating here because it is literally, I mean, you know, I, I keep saying this, it's on kind of the same level that, that Mass Effect was. There's so much history in, you know, built into the city that they're taking from sort of, you know, references and also of like real life references and pop culture references and just mixing it all together. Same way that, that I've, I felt when I played Mass Effect. And Mass Effect is like one of my favorite things of all time. So um, this one could, it could very well live up to the hype. It could be one of those very once in a console generation that really hits up to another level. Um, we thought we kind of saw that with like GTA Online. Um, I think Cyberpunk might be able to even, you know, one up GTA. We'll see. It's the same city. It's basically the same part of the part of the map as <laughs> as GTA Five did. So it's that's I don't know. I don't know. We're gonna see how it does. Anyways, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for checking out all this this video and everything. Again, yes, I go. I stream on Twitch uh, here and there. I try and keep it around the five to seven o'clock in the afternoon, uh, East Coast time. Mark. Uh, when I start up, I don't ever know when I'm, I don't know which days I will actually stream. Like tonight, I was going to stream tonight and then I made this video. So I'm probably not going to get around to doing it. Um, and I got a couple other videos in the works too for YouTube. Um, so definitely hit that subscribe button, the bell and all that stuff. So you can see when I got all the new videos coming up and, uh, I got a lot more let's talks. I'm literally looking at, a. a a handful of folders over here of videos I still need to make and some bigger actual production kind of let uh, not really let's talks but I don't know what to call them just yet but they're going to be like trying to resurrect you know dead franchises well dead franchises um so yeah yeah stay tuned for that hit the bell if you're if you might want to be checking out you know some uh some old games I might be trying to bring back from the grave I guess you could say and uh, yeah, the I'm going to be doing a major thing for Launch Night of Cyberpunk 2077 on stream on Twitch. So uh, definitely come through and check that out. Um, midnight, it's going to be it's going to be something special. We got like eight days left, I think seven, eight days left. Oh, and then the Game Awards is the same night before that. I will definitely be streaming the Game Awards. Also checking out all the new premieres, the world premieres and uh, and just giving my thoughts on on the trailers that we will be seeing. I don't know what the hell we're going to be. Uh, hopefully, hopefully we're going to be seeing a little bit of fighting games, a little bit of, a little bit of adventure, a little bit of shooter, a little bit of everything at, at the game awards. Um, so it's always a fun one to check, to, uh, to check out and everything. So anyways, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for stopping by. And as always, I will see you next time.